ジャパンズブレットレイン、オソコルシンカーセンザファーストレインサービス。だから、コンビニエントランスポーテーションメソッドウェイントラベルインジャパン。シンカーセンコネクトフロムシティセンターとシティセンター。そう、いつもよりコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブコンペティブ But with recent revision of the Japan Rail Pass, it's getting difficult to get the most of the pass at least price wise, especially if you are traveling in Japan for a short period like a week, or if your itinerary is the type that you are staying one place longer, it's got difficult to get the most of the Japan Rail Pass. So you might now have more opportunity to purchase Shinkansen tickets. It has been common to purchase Shinkansen tickets at the station counter or at the machine in the station. But recently, it's also getting common to purchase online. And depending on the route and the site you use and the timing you purchase, you can get not a small discount. But purchasing a ticket online is not as simple as it sounds, because Japan Shinkansen is operated by different companies, which is a former national railway that are separate to six different companies now. And each of them has different portals for the reservation, and there's also an online agency like Kuruk. So, you might wonder what is the best choice for you to purchase a Shinkansen ticket. So, in this video, I'd like to go over how to purchase tickets for your Shinkansen ride at the station and online, which site covers which routes of Shinkansen, which site is the best site for you to make reservation for Shinkansen tickets. There are roughly four different Shinkansen routes in Japan, and one is Tokaido, Sanyo, Kyushu Shinkansen. That are the, probably the most major route of Shinkansen. For some people, maybe this is the image of the Shinkansen or Bullet Train. This one is connecting from Tokyo to Kyoto, Osaka, and further to Hiroshima and all the way to Kyushu. From Tokyo to Osaka is operated by JR Central based in Nagoya, and further there is operated by JR West from Osaka to Hakata. Hakata is in Fukuoka City's main station's name. From Hakata and further, it's operated by JR Kyushu. So the operator of the Shinkansen changes, but it's connected as one route. And from Tokyo to Hakata has a through service, which means you know how to transfer and you can just stay on the train. From Osaka's Shin Osaka Station to Kagoshima Chuo Station, which is the southern tip of the Chikyushu Island, you can also use a through service. Second major route is the Tohoku Hokkaido Shinkansen that has a little branch out to Akita Shinkansen and Yamagata Shinkansen. This is a route operated by JL East and JL Hokkaido, and it goes north from Tokyo, going through Sendai, Aomori, and right at this point, it goes to the Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station in Hokkaido, and it is going to extend, going through Kuchan near Niteko, and Go to Sapporo in the future. And the third route is a Joet Shinkansen going to Niigata, which is a short route, has a little branch to Gara Yuzawa, which is a ski resort. Fourth one is a Hokurik Shinkansen. It goes to Karuizawa, Nagano, and go around the northern Alps of Japan and go to Kanazawa, and now extends to Tsuruga. So these are the four major Shinkansen routes. So now let's see how you can purchase the Shinkansen ticket at the station. The ticket office is operated by the local JR company, and in Tokyo, it's operated by JR East. At Tokyo Station and Shinagawa Station, where Tokaido Shinkansen runs, you see JR Central Counter too. The ticket office is called Midori no Madaguchi in Japanese, and it's a common name for the across Japan, except JR Central, which is called JR Zensen Kippu Riba. Whichever office you go, you can purchase Shinkansen tickets for all Shinkansen in Japan. And JR Limited Express too. JR East have an additional counter called JR East Travel Service Center. This office is called Ekitabi Concierge in Japanese. This is a place have a function of supporting travelers from abroad. You can get support for your rail pass and also you can purchase Shinkansen ticket. In case you find this office, they might have a little more staff that speaks English more than regular ticket office. For example, this is park exit of JR Ueno Station in Tokyo. There is a person, but you cannot purchase Shinkansen ticket here. You can look for either ticket offices or travel service counters. It seems there is one in the gate of the JR regular train concourse and one outside the gate with travel service center. When you purchase, I recommend you to write down the train details you like to take, 
such as time and destination you like to travel, and requests such as window seats for smoother transaction. You don't see the counter at every station. Recently, only major station or busy station has this ticket office. Also, in case there is a trouble on Shinkansen or during the peak season, the line of the counter can be pretty long. In that case, you might want to consider using the ticket machine in the station. Unlike the counter, these machines are available at many JR stations, even small stations. There is one at this park exit of Ueno Station too. This is JR E Station, but this machine allows you to purchase for JR Central's Tokaido Shinkansen too. You can choose your seat from seat map, or you can also choose a seat with luggage space. Here, let me explain about the luggage rules. Most of Japanese trains have a very easy going luggage limit of 250cm total dimensions times 2 per person, but only Tokaido Sanyo Kyushu Shinkansen route has additional rules that luggage with total dimension of 160cm or bigger, you need to make a reservation for the seats coming with the luggage space either behind your seat or a space near the door with the key. If you have suitcases smaller than that, you can put above your head, but no additional cost for this seat with luggage space. So if you are traveling with big luggage, you might want to make sure to get these seats for your peace of mind during a trip. But some of you might want to make reservation from the comfort of the hotel, or if you are an introvert person like me that you don't want to talk to the counter person, or if you worry that there is someone waiting behind you when you purchase a ticket machine, you might be able to consider using the online reservation site. First, there is no one official site that you can book for all Shinkansen in Japan. Today I'd like to introduce three major sites. Fitch site is for Fitch Shinkansen. What kind of discount or benefit you can get if you book from that site? First, let's see the EX site. This is a site you can make a reservation for the Tokaido, Sanyo, Kyushu Shinkansen. You cannot make a reservation for other Shinkansen lines or any limited express trains, only this Tokaido Sanyo Kyushu Shinkansen. This Shinkansen route is probably the most popular one for international travelers, and there's also different discounts available. So I'd like to spend some time to explain this site. So let's look at the website of EX. You can make an account for the site with your credit card and make reservation after. By just making the membership, your credit card won't be charged. So first, let's say I'm going to Kyoto from Tokyo in one month later. So if you type the time and the destination, the train that runs that day comes up. In this route from Tokyo, there's a Nozomi, Hikari, and Kodama depends on the number of the stops you make. The fastest one is Nozomi, and it runs most frequently, so probably the most travelers might want to take this one if you go to the Kyoto, Osaka, or further, but even Kodama is called Super Express because it runs as fast as Nozomi between stations. It just stops all stations, so it does take time, but there's also an opportunity that you can take with a cheaper price, so if you are not in a rush, you might be able to take Kodama too. You see this N700 is a type of the trains, and most of the train on Tokaido Shinkansen this route is this N700, but sometimes you see this N700S, which is using the newer cars, and not a big difference, and probably you might not be able to even recognize, but uh, each seat has a power outlet, which the N700 only has the window side, and also the cars are very new, so it's very comfortable to be on, I feel. So if you can find this N700S, you might be able to choose that one. And if you choose a train, the different types of the seats and the tickets that are available at the time of your booking shows up. The green car is like a first class car, and it has a wider seat, and also the green car of Nozomi and Hikari has access to the food service. So if you choose on your smartphone, they will bring a food or the drinks for you. It's not included in the fare, so you have to pay for it. But you can order the beer or coffee or any snacks during the travel. So it is cozy because Shinkansen used to have a wagon trolley service. But in the end of the 2023, the service finished. So now 
if you are on other cars except green cars, you have to get plenty of water and fruits before you get on board to the trains. The Tokaido Shinkansen is operated with 16 cars, and the middle three cars are green car. Other seats are reserved seat and non reserved seat. Non reserved seat is three cars attached to the Nozomi's Hikari has five cars, and non reserved seat is a ticket type that you can just go to the platform and wait for the train and find your seat. And this S work seat is uh, new types of the train. It's made for the work, so you can make a phone call on the train or you can make the typing sound on the trains. It is says it has a stronger Wi-Fi, but I don't know if it can connect because usually the Shinkansen Wi-Fi is not so You might be able to get your own Wi-Fi if you need to do some work during the time you're on the Shinkansen. And another type, and the last one is regular reserved seat. And for this one is probably the most common one, and there are different types of the fares available. So in this case, this Smart EX is a regular fare in this site. It's 200 yen cheaper than the regular price usually, but for most travelers, it's not necessarily cheaper than purchasing at the station. This is because Smart EX is only including the Shinkansen price. And this is because if you travel more than 201 kilometers, for example, from Tokyo to Osaka or Tokyo to Kyoto, you can travel from metropolitan area to metropolitan area station for the Shinkansen price. For example, if you take Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto, but you are taking JR line from Shibuya station to Tokyo station and change to Shinkansen, and when you get off at Kyoto, you don't leave the station and if you go to the Saga Arashiyama station directly, the ride between Shibuya and Tokyo station and Kyoto to Saga Arashiyama station, which will be total about 450 yen. So a few dollars, but those are included in Shinkansen price if you purchase at the station. However, when you purchase the Smart EX, that doesn't apply. It only works from Tokyo station to Kyoto station. Maybe it was a little too much information. But Smart EX still has lots of merit. Usually you can pass a Shinkansen ticket only from one month before the travel date. But with this EX site, you can book from one year before the travel. But it's not like the earlier the cheaper. There are several different discount fares, but there's a specific period of the time that you can make a reservation. And there's also a specific section of the train ride that you can get the discount fares. So first, let's see Hayatok 21, which is the most common one probably and easy to understand. This Hayatok 21 is available from one month before the travel date to 21 days before the travel date. By the way, in Japan train system, there's no dynamic pricing that the price changes depends on the demands or the availabilities. But the only thing is, the slot of the discount fare is limited. For example, making a reservation 21 days prior to the travel date doesn't mean it's guaranteed that you can get a 21 day discount. It can be sold out on the one month before the date it starts to sell. So it's always better to purchase the ticket a month before the travel date. And next one is Hayatok 28. This Hayatok means an early discount. And this Hayatok 28 is a new type of affair that I introduced in end of the 2023. And this one allows you to purchase from 90 days before the travel date to 28 days before travel date. Unlike 21, you cannot choose a seat if you book before one month. So you can only put the request and they will send you an email that this is your seat when it becomes a month before your travel date. So if you like to use Hayatok 28 and you like to choose a specific seat from seat map, the only way is you book from a month before to 28 days before, which is like only two, three days. Of course, when you try to purchase a month before, the fare of 28 might not be available anymore. So in case you like to get the Mount Fuji side for sure, like which is C, D on the green card and D, E on the regular cars or non reserved car, you can maybe purchase after one month from the seat map. 
And in case it's busy in the morning time, if you make it a little bit very early or later, you might be able to get some seats available or some fares available. And something really good is Hayatok 3 Green White. This one, you can make reservation until three days prior to the travel date. And you can get on the green car, which is a first class with big discount. So for example, from Tokyo to Kyoto, you can travel for 15,400 yen on the green car's Nozomi. And which is almost same price with the regular fare of the Nozomi, in case you purchase at the Shinkansen station. So I think with a thousand yen or so difference, it's a great deal that you can get on the green car. In case you like to say more on the Shinkansen fares, you might be able to consider taking Kodama trains. There's a Hayatoku 3 green Kodama fares that, that you can get on the Kodama's green car. So it takes time, but it is comfortable. And for Kodama, there's no food service even for green cars. But if you are with your friend and you can purchase lots of things like foods and drinks and go on the train, it will be kind of fun time. So you might wonder how slow Kodama is. For example, Nozomi leaving Tokyo station at 8 o'clock is arriving Kyoto at 10.15. And uh, Kodama is leaving 3 minutes before that from Tokyo station. And it will arrive 1 hour 19 minutes later that Nozomi arrives. So it will arrive at 11.34. So it's all about how you think about this 1 hour and 19 minutes more. But when you make reservation, if the fare you like to get is available, it shows up. If it doesn't show up, it's not available. So I recommend you to look around different slots of the times. After you purchase on this EX site, there are three ways to get on the Shinkansen trains. And one is to show the QR code from your account and scan that to the machine and get the physical paper ticket. And the second way is to tag your reservation information to your IC card. So any IC card is okay. It can be Ikoka from Kansai. It can be Pasmo from private railways. And you can tag the Shinkansen reservation information to this. So in that case, you can just tap this to the machine and a little paper with the seat information and train information comes up. When I tried to use this for the first time, I was very nervous. And can I really go through with the IC card? And it was great. I could just go through it. And the third way is it's available only for international travelers. You can show the QR code on your phone and you can just tap that to the machine at the gate. Also, the paper comes up from the machine. So in case you tap the QR code directly to the ticket gate or you tag your ticket information to the Suica, each person needs a Suica and each person needs a smartphone. So that is something you might want to make sure. So for example, if you purchase four tickets for your friends, you can purchase with your credit card, but for four different reservation information, you need to tag to each Suica. And from the account, you can just type this number of the Suica that are written in the behind. Something to be careful is the regular seat of the Shinkansen that you purchase at the station or the EX fare you can get on the any non reservable seat in case you miss a train. But if you book any fares that says Hayatoku, which is early discount, you cannot get on the any train after that, even non reservable seat. So in case you think you will miss a train, make sure to cancel the train. Whichever the way you purchase Shinkansen ticket, you can get to refund with a few dollar fee. So in case you cannot make it, it's better to get refunded. So from the time the train you made the reservation leaves the station, you cannot access to the information of the reservation. So you cannot do anything, but next day, they will find out that you didn't go through the gate, you didn't take the train, and they will refund you a special amount. It's not a lot, but you don't lose everything. You get some money come back automatically to your credit card. But this is only for the smart EX. In case you issue the ticket, you have to go to the counter and ask for it. But this is also a great convenience of the smart EX that you can make changes and everything online with your smartphone. And next, let's see JR East Reservation site. This JR East Reservation site covers all Shinkansen by JR East, 
but it doesn't cover the Tokaido Sanyo Kyushu Shinkansen that I talked about earlier. But all other Shinkansen is covered by this JRE reservation, and also limited express trains or special trains in JR East and Hokkaido area. So in case you book limited express train in Hokkaido, you can also go to this site of JR East reservation site. And this site system is a little different from the EX that I introduced earlier. But this English site, lots of reasonable JR East regional passes are available. So in case you take the Shinkansen of JR East or Hokkaido, usually you can get more reasonable fare if you get the pass and get on the Shinkansen with the regional passes, which is not available for Japanese people. For example, JR East South Hokkaido Pass is 35,000 yen for six days, and you can get on the Shinkansen unlimited from Tokyo to Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station, and you can also get on the limited express to all the way to Sapporo and anything in between. So this will be very reasonable. There are lots of other JR East passes. So in case you travel around more than five days in the north of Tokyo, you might want to get this JR East pass. Depends on your itinerary. And this JR East reservation site is very well done for the pass holders. In case you have certain pass either purchased from the, this official site or even from other site, you can make a reservation for the seat from this site. For example, if you get the JR East South Hokkaido pass that I mentioned earlier, the train that are available with your pass comes up. So you can choose, uh, for example, from Tokyo to Hakodate and Hakodate to Sapporo. You can make reservation for the seat using your pass without any additional cost. So for example, this pass is not available for other parts of Hokkaido. So the route from Hokkaido's Sapporo to Asahikawa doesn't show up. But if you choose, for example, JR Hokkaido Pass by JR Hokkaido, that is also available on this site. And in case you use that pass, you can choose Sapporo to Asahikawa. And these limited express trains like Lilac and Kamui comes up. So there are lots of different types of the regional passes. So you might want to take a look at it. The only thing is, all of these passes are only available for regular seats. And there's no pass available for green cars. For green cards, you have to get on with the regular fares, and that is the same for Japanese side too. JR East Shinkansen has a special seat called Grand Class, which is higher than green car, and for some long distance route, like Tokyo to Shin Hakodate Hokuto, not everything, but many Grand Classes comes with the meals and free flow of sake or alcohol drinks. And the last one will be JR West Reservation. Just like the EX site I talked earlier, you can make a reservation for the Tokaido, Sanyo, Kyushu Shinkansen, and Hokuriku Shinkansen. This JR West reservation allows you to make reservation for some special train that are not available to other sites. And one is the Sunrise Izumo, or Seto, which is the only regular night train leaving from Tokyo and going to Izumo and Takamatsu. This train, you only can make reservation from this JR West reservation. You can also make a reservation for the connection going to Hokuriku of the Thunderbird and Hokuriku Shinkansen, which is not available at the JR East reservation. And you can also make a reservation for the Toroko train from Arashiyama. In case you make a reservation for Shinkansen, there's no big discount like you saw on the EX site. And just in case you cannot use the EX site for some reason, Maybe you can use this JR West site to make reservation for the Tokaido Shinkansen, but in that case, you have to click this Reserve by Selecting Stations. If you click Selecting Trains, the Tokaido Shinkansen doesn't show up as a list. JR West also have lots of original regional passes. For example, JR West Sanyo Sign Pass is 23,000 yen for 7 days, and you can do unlimited ride on the Shinkansen between Shin Osaka to Hakata in Kyushu. In case you purchase a pass from the JR West site, you can make a reservation for your seat through their website. In case you only need one way to get from Shin Osaka to the West, 
There's also a ticket type called Sanyo Shinkansen One Way Ticket. And this one is not available at the JL West official site. It's available at the travel agency outside Japan. And one site I found is a crook. So, in case you purchase one way ticket of the Sanyo Shinkansen, you can purchase it much cheaper than the JL West official site. Right. So, now let's look at the foreign agency site, Kuruk. Kuruk is a site that offers a service that you can make reservation for all Shinkansen that I talked about. And there's a big pro and cons on this Kuruk site. The only thing is, for each purchase of the Shinkansen ticket, it costs a kind of handling fee called fulfillment fee. And this is not really a small one. In case you make different reservations, and especially for civil people, the total of the fee will be not a small amount. But there's a big benefit too. In case you purchase from the Kuruk site, you can book from your own language or country's kind of page, and you can probably use your credit card for sure. This is because I see some comments recently that the credit card doesn't work for the EX site. So I'm not sure how many people are succeeded to use the EX site and not, because I see lots of people who travel with EX site too using their credit card. So I drop all the links to make reservation in the description. So please check if you're interested in it. It might have been a little bit complicated topic for someone who are not interested in trains or these preparations. But I hope you can imagine it to be a great, exciting trip and enjoy the process of making reservation and research. Thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a great week until the next video.